Training of Accounting Higher Education Teachers, a Systematic Literature Review. The aim is therefore to answer the following question. How has the didactic pedagogical training of higher education teachers in the area of accounting taken place? The literature search was carried out in accordance with the preferred reporting items for systematic reviews and meta-analyzes guidelines which aim to ensure clarity and transparency in systematic reviews, reducing the risk of bias and failure. The PRISMA guidelines describe four specific phases required to implement the search and selection of documents, namely identification, screening, eligibility and final selection. Given the evidence that conclusions are often poorly informed in systematic reviews, the PRISMA guidelines help to overcome this problem by ensuring the quality of reviews, following a well-defined structure and format. Search Strategy and Study Selection The studies were identified through a search of the Scopus database, which is considered to be one of the largest international databases with a broad representation of scientific production, and the CAPES Journal Portal, which provides access to thousands of international journals, making textual and referential databases available in all areas of knowledge. The English terms accounting education, accounting teacher, teacher training, A&D, accounting, were used to broaden the search. The same terms in Portuguese were also used. Because the first results of the searches in English resulted in several scientific productions carried out in Brazil and or by Brazilian authors. And since Portuguese is the official language of this country, we believe that carrying out the searches in Portuguese would also reach more scientific productions for the research corpus. The following search expression was used, accounting education, OR, accounting teaching, and teacher, and training. No research limiters were selected. Inclusion and exclusion criteria. To select the studies, the following inclusion criteria were considered. Empirical studies of a qualitative OR quantitative nature. Population, teachers OR students of accounting courses. Theme, training of higher education teachers in the area of accounting. The selected studies were analyzed according to the following exclusion criteria. Studies of a theoretical nature. Population, professionals OR students from other areas. Area, unrelated to accounting. Context, higher education. Access, closed. One reviewer independently examined citations and abstracts to identify the articles that met the outlined inclusion criteria. The analysis was validated by two other reviewers, doctoral supervisors. In the face of relative disagreements regarding eligibility, decisions were the result of discussion and consensus. Study selection. After a search of the Scopus database and the CAPES Journal Portal in February 2022, a total of 128 studies published between 1995 and 2021 were identified. A total of 124 studies were selected for eligibility analysis. Four studies that were duplicated in the databases were eliminated. After analyzing the studies by title and abstract, 22 articles were retained for full-text scrutiny, of which 102 studies were eliminated, 77 were not from the field of accounting, 3 were not related to the context of SE, 20 were not related to the theme of teacher training, Two were closed access. Of the 22 articles analyzed in full text, 11 were eliminated. Six were not related to teacher training. Five were not from the accounting area. No studies were added through the manual search. Descriptive characterization. The main characteristics of the studies included are shown in Table 2. The first stage was carried out in order to identify some characteristics of the publications, such as year of publication, country of study, scientific journals, nature of study, Analyzing the studies included allowed U.S. to identify four main categories of perspectives on the training of accounting day, namely teacher competences, teaching strategies, educational resources and main problems. The review demonstrates that the pedagogical training of higher education teachers in the area of accounting should be based on experience and reflection in action, using active methodologies, content with pedagogical training components related to the teaching and learning process. The context of higher education and accounting. From the analysis of the studies, the development of competences related to teaching activity and the lack of training spaces where this training can take place stand out. Thus, this study contributes with current educational strategies and resources, elements of pedagogical training that will make it possible to elaborate a training program aimed at higher education teachers in the area of accounting and with the identification of gaps to be explored that will serve as a starting point for future research. References Thank you.